Hello, everybody. My name is Invicta, and welcome back to Library of Runa. We're going to pick up a little after the last episode that you all saw here on YouTube. And basically what I've been doing is I've been trying out different decks. I'm not even going to lie. I looked up a lot of stuff on Reddit and found this deck that is basically kind of cheesy for Yasad's floor. Apparently it was nerfed, but right now it's doing pretty darn good. I'm just, I'm literally just auto battling here. Uh, and we've gotten all the way to phase two. And as you see, I actually got a quad stagger on phase two. So I have no idea. I've never seen anything past this. This is actually just the furthest I've gone. And I'm just going to let the auto battle go. Like I've buffed, I've super buffed up Yasad basically. And uh, essentially all four of them have the same deck. Um, they are all using cards that will buff other members of the squad and they just keep feeding each other just stats and stats. It's actually kind of insane. Uh, even after the nerf, I don't know what, I don't know what this deck used to do, but pre apparently it was super duper strong. Uh, just to show you exactly what, uh, what's going on here again, I'm, I'm seriously just auto battling here. I'll go ahead and show you all the, uh, all the combat, all the combat, uh, strings here and let's just see what happens. Cause man. So yeah, you see all the buffs that Yasad is getting, and that is not only just from his cards, but also from everyone else's cards. And uh, I mean, it's a pretty interesting deck. You know, this deck has a lot of uh, it has a lot of features that not only it feeds itself, but it also allows itself to gain light and and draw. We get another of the sweepers down. Um, I've been spending a lot of time trying to beat this fight, and it's it's pretty intense. This this is a difficult fight because of just how much of an endurance struggle it is. Um, but if you can, I, I, it's been working so far. I'll show you what the deck is. If we end up beating this one, I'm just going to let the auto battler go, uh, just to see how well it does. So they end up getting a seven there. You saw it gets an 11 and a six. Um, but this deck does definitely feel pretty darn cheesy. We are at least going to be able to see phase three. I think maybe looks like this one sweeper is left and, uh, hopefully it doesn't take down Baynard. It's going to go after Baynard and, uh, Baynard going to clash with that. Yeah, he should be able to he should be able to take it. So let's see what happens here. Yeah, Baynard able to just stop it. I mean, all the, like the, and you saw not even buffed up there. In fact, none of them are buffed up. Uh, there's Baynard. He's got I, I did. I did give him Meow's page. So that's the reason why he looks like a character out in Naruto right now. Uh, looks like they were able to get resistant yet again. So this guy just keeps on resing. There we go. Math is going to take it down. Math has also got a got a mask. Uh, off of me trying to go backwards and farm the carnival, I want to say. But we were able to get to Act 3, and... Um, all right, so this is what we're going up against. We got Anton, Lila, Sweeper, Sweeper, and then Valerie. Uh, so, again, we're at emotion level 4. Again, I'm just going to let it ride. I have no idea what these guys do. I don't even care at this point. I just want to see how far that this, th this can actually get with this deck. Um, again, we're at emotion level four, so we're gonna be we're gonna be juiced here. So let's see what happens, and uh, let's just let it ride here. It's a lot of clashes. I'm not even gonna begin to try to figure out what's going on. Saad gets a ten, deflects that one, gets an eight. Saad is just absolutely goaded right now. That's going on and getting a thirteen on that one as well. Yeah, I mean threes and stuff turn into tens. It's it is insane. Didn't get the stagger quite yet. There's the stagger on, I believe that's Valerie. And Yasaj is going to go in and just absolutely murder her. So, Aynar takes, or Huts takes a little bit of damage. Good parry there by Mathis. I think he gets another 12 max damage there. And we're not even done attacking yet. Almost gets the stagger on Anton as well. I think that's, or maybe that's Lila. It's one of the two. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So we've already killed uh, Valerie, and we got a stagger on another sweeper. Yeah, that's a 12 and instant stagger from your side. Max damage, and unfortunately, down goes Baynard, finally. I mean, he's been... Baynard was seriously sitting at 4 HP for, like, this entire time. Like, without exaggeration. Yeah, and uh, Math is going to just get another one. Looking to try to get a stagger... And we are able to get the stagger, so it's just staggers all around, and math is just not even done yet. But we got double stagger here, and let's see where the AI goes. It's just we're just going just all in. Eight and six, getting good damage there. You side going in with ten. Twenty damage, a fatal hit. 
Holy smokes, man. Yassad is just absolutely destroying people. There's the resistance, and it didn't even matter. Yassad gets the kill anyway. And Mathis isn't done yet either. And now it's three on one against a lowly sweeper. Oh my gosh. We only lose Baynard and the rest of Team Baynard is just going to clean it up. Yasada is just going berserk. I cannot believe that we're going to get a win here just by auto battling with this deck. Well, let's not, let's not count our chickens before they hatch here. But man, this is, this is not looking good for the sweepers. Oh, it's he's down to two HP and forget about it. Wow. I've been, I've been at this for hours. Uh, well, not really hours. It's probably about an hour and a half or so. Uh, and then I, and then I found this deck on Reddit and I'll go ahead and show it to you. It's, it's pretty good. <laughs> Even after the, uh, nerf, apparently, uh, looks like, uh, huts did get the uh, precious family, whatever that is. And oh my gosh, look at all the sweepers. We got so much crap. Like how many books did we get? I think I, I actually think that we didn't like, I've never seen that many enemies before ever. So yeah, I was not expecting to, to beat it, but there we are. Boy, that was exhausting. Those sweepers are sure are persistent. What kind of deal could have made them so desperate, I wonder. The most I can tell is that the sweepers are losing their ground. So they tried to make a deal to do something about it. Did we get to know more? No idea. Maybe the invitation will show us the answer eventually. Seem to be really fixed on the sweepers, by the way. What's up with that? Something about them smelled suspicious. They do have an awful smell. I'll give you that. Take a sniff of those filthy bandages and your appetites. Are you insane? Jeez, can't even crack a joke. Well, anyway, this is the first time our Miss Library Director let her intuition speak so much. I guess it wouldn't hurt to keep an eye on into this case. Wow, so yeah, let me show you the, uh, I'll show you the deck. This is literally the same thing for everything. You use three rules of the backstreets, three, uh, the red notes, and three, the unforgettable melodies. You see the combat start, everyone gets plus one strength to, uh, ally. And th this is what basically keeps you going, um, with the, uh, with the rules of the backstreets on, I as long as you can hit, you'll be able to draw. And because these are so, these are such a low light cost. It really, you, you're always going to have light. You just saw me just destroy it there, and I wasn't even doing anything. Um, so let's see what kind of books we got. We did get Lila, Valerie, and Anton. Um, Valerie's page. We can we can afford to burn one of each. I think I don't even need like this anymore. <laughs> the book of sweepers. Let's just burn the. Let's just burn one of each and see what we get here. And we got no key pages. Um, single, single unused game persistence for four scenes. That's the one that basically keeps you alive. And uh, we got a whole bunch of them, but we didn't get any of the key pages, which is unfortunate. Um, so we were able to beat that. And then there is going to be another one after this book of a sweeper. We have no idea who this is. Probably going to be severely outmatched by this, but I don't know. Let's find out. There's Yan again. Hello, Miss Lala. Here's your prescript. Don't dangle to Lala, man. Put three nose on dangle on Lily's birthday cake by noon tomorrow. Don't dangle by Lily, man. You'll be Miss Living. It was like next door, man. I did hear her birthday tomorrow. I don't know what she looks like. A grown child. I'm no dangle. If she bites one of those needles and no dangle gets hurt. Never know. She might luckily notice those needles before she eats them. Or you could tell her in advance that there are needles in her cake. Don't dang old spoil me dead dumb dang old prescript for her, man. Yes, the prescript didn't say anything about it, so it should be all right. Don't dang old straight enough, man. Don't get, don't get no weird prescripts, man. I didn't even have no prescription, nothing. I just go phone the internet doctor. No, no, just go to this. this. If you don't carry out the prescripts, the index won't provide protection to you. you. have family, right? I hope you can fulfill this one smoothly. Don't dang old yo. It is Boomhauer. Hello, Mr. Lee Deaku. You have a new prescript. Huh? What now? Am I supposed to do with this now? I'm sorry. Sorry, sir. I can't. I sadly can't do anything for you, even if you cling to me. I'll take in a deep breath and read it out. Lee Deaku. Play rock, paper, scissors with the third person you meet and play rock. If you win, pull out 59 strands of their hair. And apply seafood cream pasta sauce with mealworms fed on styrofoam to it three times and eat it with a fork. 
Sick bastards. Are you telling me to eat that crap? I had to make risotto out of sewer water and give it to Minji next door just a week ago. They ate it without asking and ended up going to the ER. F this. Sorry. All I do is deliver the prescripts. Please, I'll give you as much money as you want. Or let me get a different prescript just this once. I beg you. Let it change this, but I don't have the authority to do that. Everyone faces a death of faith in the prescripts. I hope you can overcome this. Oh my God, what is that? Messenger Yan, long time no see. Hello, Proxy Gloria. You have business with, with Mr. Lamarcus here too? Yep, I do. I got a prescript right here. He 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 he. Hello, Mr. Lamarcus, are you still there? We're here to talk. Hmm, this won't do. Leave it to me, sweetie. Aha, there you are. Please, it was just a tiny issue. Did this person not carry out his prescript? Nope. So a prescript came down to me telling me to smash Mr. Lamarca's frontal lobe. Usually proxies only receive prescripts on the rare occasion of someone else not carrying out the prescript, Mr. Lamarcus. You're kidding me. Kill the painting you've drawn. Does this make sense to you? Painting was everything in my life and I smeared my own art with ink, stabbed and tore them, painted pictures of dead people in so many different ways. I did everything. Huh? That's the, that's a tote simple problem. Just pick anyone from the streets, use them as a model for your painting and then kill them. Isn't that a no brainer? This isn't my fault. It's the prescript for being too vague. Not the prescripts, prescripts fault. You were too dumb to get it. You sick mofos. All I could do, I did all I could live. I relate numbers to a guy named Raymond. I moved a unicorn plushie to the park and found a way to see green from a white wall for Hayen. I've been doing so good. Well, too bad you couldn't keep it up this time. I understand you tried, but once we get a prescript, we should carry it out. No exceptions. I'm sorry. Ah! <laughs> Oh, Mr. John, here's your prescript. Mr. John, stand on any three-way intersection at 338 tomorrow. Look to the east and wave seven times. Is this really all I have to do to be protected by you guys? No need to pay money like the other syndicates? Yes, that's the case. All you need to do is carry out each prescript accordingly. Sweet. The index really is the best. You don't ask for back-breaking fees like others do. Can you please reconsider? There's nothing truly free in this city. I just have to carry out the prescripts that come to me from time to time, don't I? The nest went under suddenly, so suddenly, dangerous gangs started prancing around the residential area. And other syndicates all wanted me to pay absurd amounts of money or sign these ridiculous contracts. The index is the only, the index is the only one, the index is the only one me and my family can count on. I got it. You believe so, you'll be safe as long as you follow the prescripts. Maybe. Hello, proxies. You have a new prescript to carry out. Oh, that's Yan. <laughs> was, and we have Esther. New prescripts, huh? We've been getting prescripts a whole lot more often these days. Prescripts will be prescripts. It's not like you ever cared about how many prescripts you got. I have no doubts about prescripts, though. No. Though we might be seeing a lot of bloodshed with the thumb and the sweepers at this rate. I don't have any m blood left in my body to shed anyhow. If Hubert, uh, uh, if war is what prescript requires, man, then we should gladly wage war, bro. It's our role to act upon the half of prescripts will. We'll carry out the prescripts we've received first. Proxies, each of us can convey the content that prescript Mr. Yan gave to us. Us to the prol, pro, pros, pros, uh, the, the pros in our family. What are the, what are the free skips about this time, by the way? Let's see, minus to extract spinal cords of 37 year old people in this nest. Every 37 year old in the nest. Don't know, it's up to the proxy Esther to clarify ambig ambiguities in prescripts, you know? Just target all the denizens of the nest. Search for every single person of the specified age and take their spine. 
Our familiar's task is to exchange the left leg of the 14th person we come across today with the right leg of the 26th person we run into, man. They're so out there. It actually feels strange to get a straightforward prescript for once, you see? Gan? Eliminate the thumb, no time limits. This one needs no explanation. <laughs> I'll send my proselytes to the library as my prescript dictates. Oh boy, the index is really coming for us. It seems this, the prescripts are often vague and need clarification. I haven't seen it myself, so frankly, I have no idea how those instructions look. I don't know who makes the, pres the prescripts either. It's impossible they could maintain such a massive syndicate following orders that come out of nowhere. That's the scary part. Those prescripts seem random, but they work out in their favor somehow. And no one knows who's responsible for making them. I haven't seen anyone that knows, at least. The prescripts are long since appointed as the star of the city. I can hardly believe that so many are following such amphigory and so blindly. That's pretty much everyone in the city. Like they said, people will all just live according to the purpose of life they've been given by someone else or something else without thinking twice. Heck, those who are still lost without a purpose would gladly take the prescripts. Even if they require them to yield their own lives. They're willing to declare war against the thumb because a prescript said so. Life surely isn't the biggest concern for them. But that's only a conflict between syndicates, not wings. Can it really be called war? Hey, hey, ma'am, you have really you have no idea how big they really are. When the hundreds of finger-affiliated syndicates all clash at the same time, the scale and the aftermath is most certainly comparable to that war between wings. The town's going to be noisy with those fanatics for a while. Uh, okay, so we have the proselytes. I uh, don't really care about this. Let, let's just let's see how we do with this deck. The super cheesy deck. Team Baynard and auto battle, apparently. They do have some pretty awesome looking uniforms. I'll give them that. They're also super and they're super durable, too. Max damage there, but they've got a lot of strength against, I think that's blunt damage. Maybe that's just their stagger. Max damage rolled by Maynard. And uh, definitely gonna go for rhythm here. We're just gonna, gonna beef up Yasad. Let's take a look at their resistances real quick. Yeah, they're, they're endured on stagger uh, to blunt, but normal to everything else, so. Yeah, we were just we were just seeing the results of the blunt uh, of the blunt rolls. There's the stagger on Mathis. Mathis is gonna go down. Still cannot get the stagger. Oh my god, there's so much text on the screen. Now Baynard's gonna go in and still can't get the stagger on any of them. Put this on Yasad. We're just going to keep buffing him up. I was impressed by Yasad's performance against the Sweepers, as you can tell. Maynard's going to get... Or Hutz is going to get staggered, and he's going to get killed. Wow, great rolls, Maynard. You finally get a stagger there. You can definitely tell the weakness of the deck is... I mean, you've got to... Obviously, you got to get the rolls as well. Um, but anything that's anything that's super resistant, or at least endured to a blunt, is going to be a little problematic. Uh, we, can, we can go recharge our musical addiction here. I'm just going to go musical addiction. Just, again, continue to buff up Yasad. Maynard's probably going to go down here. Yep, there he goes. Let's see how well Yasad performs here. Now he doesn't have the he doesn't have the the rest of his team to buff him up, so he's not gonna be super duper crazy good. Yeah. He's gonna end up getting staggered here. Wow. And they've got a lot of power behind their swings as well. So we did get three uh books. We did lose a book of sweeper, which I who cares about that really? 
Uh, oh, and we have a new abnormality. I didn't realize that. Okay. Um, let's take a look. Let's just burn these books. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna need a lot of these, so I don't mind burning all three. All right. Each scene boosts the power of a random offensive dice by two. Each scene. Skim prescript. Or one or more page at the start of the act. That's pretty darn good. And it's very, very good against endurance. In, or it's endured against blunt. Sense of sense quarry. Uh, lower all speed values by X for one scene. There are seven more. If there are seven or more pages in hand, all dice on this in two power. Okay. If singleton, all dice in this power game plus one. What's singleton? A character is singleton if their combat bookshelf does not have any duplicate pages. Ah. Interesting. Okay, so there's faith. If singleton draw three pages. Wow, okay. All dice loot all dice the user plays lose three power for the scene. Okay. Well I'm glad that we got one of those books at least. Um Wow, and, and we got one of the, we did get one of the, of the, uh, of the key pages. So I wonder, let's take Baynard, because Baynard has the weakest deck. Let's empty this, let's clear all this, clear all this stuff. Um, there's no, like, I don't think there's, there's one, there's one, like, key to press to clear all of the, all the advanced pages. And let's give Baynard, I want to try out that, that key page here. Oops. We'll give Baynard this one, and also let's let's change his change his look now that I don't have to give him meows anymore. So appearance projection, like what? There we go. All right, Baynard, you still look like a dork, but we'll we we still love you, buddy. Uh, he also got what did he get? One of one of them got something from that fight. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, Matt, this was like that. He's got the sweeper battle symbol. I like it. Okay. So Singleton. So we cannot have character is Singleton if their comment book shows does not have does not have any duplicate pages. Any. Okay, so I feel like all those are gonna be good. definitely want to get um, yeah we've already got that one let's see we want to get yeah cleanup cleanup's real good for restoring that but we need draw as well so we can go back street that and then we need to give Baynard we need to give him an extra dice for sure um defensive die power plus one is not terrible we can just go full We also do, we can do improv drumming as well. Well, we don't really use, the thing is that we don't really use a blunt attack. It doesn't look like anyway. So let's look at Pierce damage here. Here's dice power by one. We'll just go, we'll just go with the wedge for now. 
I realize that this is that this is not exactly probably like the best idea, but we'll save the setup as Singleton. Okay, well, before we go any further, we need to put something on row. Now, Ro doesn't have any, she doesn't have any key pages at all. So I'm going to give her the sweeper. I'm going to give her one of the, of the sweeper pages. And then I'm just going to, I'm going to load her up with the buff him up. And she also needs, she needs these. So let's give her, if we can give her another speed die, that'd be good. Give her another die here. And then the rest don't really matter. Yeah, sure. Give her concentration. Look good. Okay, then everyone else is... I mean, they're dead. I have not updated their decks in a while. Um, NL's Brawl deck is pretty garbo. Let's change that really quick to... I'm just giving him the same Brawl deck that I was using in attempt to beat the Sweepers on Baynard. And it actually wasn't doing that bad, to be honest. Um, it just wasn't like, it wasn't incredible. we're looking for we're looking for the two cost no we, we actually need brawl <laughs> brawl would be important in a brawl deck i right hear okay then we need the we need the restful state so if he didn't use basically it's the one that if he didn't use any if he didn't use any pages at all then he gets he gets light Huts. Huts and Row both are using that. Let's give him Zulu's page. Now yeah, we'll use that and see how it goes. All right, let's see what this abnormality is. I have no idea. Oh, Queen B. Oh, hey. <laughs> well, let's try it. Why not? And no, I'm not going to go quick combat here because I have no idea what we're going up against. Okay, so loyalty. Target the last foe that attacked Queen Bee in the previous scene. Bailing or falling embrace of death. If Queen Bee's HP falls below 20%, attack her. Okay. Spores. If the character was attacked, inflict one spore on all librarians and start next scene. Pronatalism. If there are two or fewer worker bees alive, at the start of the scene, metamorphosis of library and dies, spawn a worker bee, pheromones, use pages that boost the aggression and loyalty of worker every three scenes. Okay. We don't know what spores do. Ah. That's what it does. Deal bonus damage equal to target spore attacks. Okay. Oh, and the and the the B the Queen B attacks as well. So She is straight up not targetable. Okay, so we don't. We need to not care about the, about the queen bee for now. Let's 
So our fo our focus is the workers then, and they are normal resist to everything. All right, so row. Definitely, we want to use we want to use this. Okay, husky. He's out of light already. NL. Go brawl there. Okay. Row six. Row gets a seven on that one. Max damage. Nice job by Row. Six. 21 by. Uh, Malkuth, holy smokes. That plus two strength. Helping out a lot. Husky also, of course, is going to bleed himself. Bro going on in for max damage there. And now wins the first, wins the second. He didn't even get strength on that one. Wins the third as well. Man. The workers getting destroyed right now. Go for a draw here as well. I think that we avoided all spores as well. Hey, okay, Husky. It's hard to kind of, it's kind of hard to tell what they rolled here. A torment of wrath there on NL. I feel like we should just continue to uh Husky can get some heals there as well. Malkuth is not going to get anything. I think she got inflicted by spores. Here comes NL. There's the spores. So we still don't know what spores do. Bro gets the max roll of eight there. Okay. Combat with the highest cost in hands chosen. Use the same. Decrease the cost of every copy of that page. Of that page, the character owned, currently owns by one. Uh, let's give that to uh, NL. Spores. At the start of the scene, take one damage. Have the stack. Take one damage every time the character rolls an offensive die. The character dies with the ailment. They turn to a worker bee. So they're go they're way more aggressive now. So they're coming after Row.
And now we can do some serious damage here. I'm gonna try to protect Row. Row gets a five and a three, gets the stagger on the worker bee. Husky wins that one, gets the stagger on that worker bee. And Malkuk didn't win that. Didn't get the stagger either. Sorry, I don't really feel like becoming a busy bee. Okay, Ro parried that one. And NL is going to go ahead and... No, he didn't kill the bee. Give this one, I guess, to NL as well. Queen B is still not. We killed one of the bees already. I mean that this bee is dead, right? Oh, uh, everything is everything's super duper buffed up. Oh, I think it's because of the spores. I think that's what's that's what's giving them this kind of this edge here. I think. I, I honestly have no idea at this point. This one rolled a 10. I take this one down. Husky's gonna... Husky's basically by himself here. Try to take out this one for sure. All right, well, this will be interesting. I don't know exactly what's going to happen here. The three hits of Husky. Wow. 13. Holy smokes. Hit down two of the bees. I think we can afford this. Gluttony, we're going to give to NL, I guess. Malkuth. Malkuth can actually stop that. Then row. Go ham on both of them. Five got an eight. Good job by NL. This is basically a race because we need to, we have to stop. We have to stop them from dealing damage to Roe, essentially.
We have nothing but we have nothing but uh on clash here. Broke the evade die there. We take down the worker bee, so now what? I mean, Malku died, and we're again we're under the effects of spore. Truly really confused as to as to how we're supposed to beat this, but I guess I guess you're expected to attack the queen and not necessarily the workers. the stagger there. So the queen bee is staggered. Now the workers are just going to spawn just like uh just like uh just like in lobotomy corporation okay so apparently that one we shouldn't i thought since the queen since the queen bee had i figured since she had nothing but those defensive die that she was going to be pretty much unbeatable because of just how much she was she was completely endured by all damage sources so i don't know i have to i have to think about that one but anyway we're gonna wrap it up there hey i'm at least happy that we got the sweepers down i totally was not expecting it and honestly i'll take the dub so thank you for watching everyone if you enjoyed this video click the like button if you didn't click the dislike button let me know in the comments down below if you want to see more library of runa here on the second channel and as always i'll see you all next time until then so long everybody